celebrate your place of help. Can you repeat after me? Celebrate your place of help. Once again, please, people of God, celebrate your place of help. Amen. What is a place of help, people of God? A place of help is somewhere that you find solace, somewhere that you find comfort. It's a place where lives are transformed, people of God. It is a place of fulfillment, a place where people make God. Amen? Amen? It is a place of multiplication, a place of blessing. A place of help is a place of increase. So my question to each and every one of us is this. Who needs help? Think about it quickly. Who needs help? People of God? Anyone that cannot do it alone needs help. And as human beings, we cannot do it alone. You all agree with that? So because of that, we do what? We all need help. At every point in our life, as long as we recognize the fact that we are human beings, we cannot do it alone, we need help. So, brothers and sisters, where is your place of help? As this word is coming out, people of God, uh, quickly we're going to explore and examine four personalities in the Bible. These are people that they found their place of help. And what they did about it, what happened in their lives. The first person we're quickly going to talk about, the, persons is, the story of that person is found in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, that my brother just read to us. Abraham, the father of faith. In this chapter, if you look closely, God commanded him to go forth, to leave his kinsmen. He said, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. God did not just promise him. God was with, with him. And he left. What happened, people of God? When he got to Bethel, he met God. Bethel was to that to him, Abraham, his place of help. Amen. Or in um, verse seven, it says, "Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, to your offspring, I will give this land.' So, what did he do? What did he do?" When he found his place of help, he built what? An altar for God. He raised an altar unto the Lord. People of God are so many. What happened next? Sadly, he did not stay in his place of help. What did he do? He moved on. He moved on to where? To Egypt. People of God, as Christians, whenever we find our place of help. I pray that God Almighty will open our eyes to see around us to, to understand how significant that place of help is to us so that we'll remain there so that his blessings will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. In our Christian life, it is important to locate, identify, locate your place of help and stay in there so that you have multiple blessings. Amen? Amen? I'm going to quickly state this. When I was living, when, when I was living in Italy, in Europe, I lived there for three years before I came to America in the 90s. And I remember when we were given the green card over there, the, the green card in it is called Sojourner. Sojourner. And those of us who were from other countries who were called Stranieris. 
sojourno sojourno in italian means sojourner a foreigner so what am i trying to say the paper that was given issue to every one of us was called stranieri from the word stranger hmm. they were trying to tell us that you don't belong here you are what a foreigner people of god when we leave our place of help we will become strangers we will become foreigners but when we stay in our place of help as christians where god dwells what happens to us we become citizens children and sons of the most high god and your stars will begin to do what to radiate amen if you get it give god a big clap of friend people of god when you dwell in your place of help because that is a place where god is with you that is a place that is meant for you for purpose of god to be fulfilled in your life when you don't go beyond that things begin to happen for you things begin to do what to happen for you because it is a place ordained for you i'm going to ask each and every one of us where is your place of help brother and sister Amen. Think about it. Our place of what? Our place of help. Amen. What am I trying to say, people of God? When you identify, you recognize your place of help. It is your responsibility as Christians to keep celebrating that place of help. People of God, be it known to you all that Agbala Atura is your place of help. That's one thing. We go deeper very soon. What do you supposed to do? You should you, you should begin to celebrate that place of help. In words, in thoughts, in comments, begin to do what to celebrate your place of help. Because when you begin to celebrate your church, God will begin to celebrate you in a unique way. Shout one big hallelujah. This morning, I'm admonishing you, each and every one of us. Let us begin to learn to celebrate our what? Our place of help. Because when you begin to do that, things begin to happen for you spiritually. Because it is a place that is purposed for your life. Amen. Celebrate your place of help. Because of our time, I'm going to quickly move on to the next person, Jacob. In chapter Genesis chapter 35, verses 1 to 3. Quickly, Genesis 35, verses 1 to 3. Thank you, Mommy. Praise God. Don't forget the first person, Abraham, he found his place of what? Help, but he moved on. Then later on, God commanded him to do what? To go back to his place of help. Because even though Abraham was blessed in many ways, but remember, he was very lucky. Because he did not stay in his place of help, he almost lost his wife. They almost snatched his wife from him because of the fact that he moved out of the place of what? Help. God told him to go back to where God visited him the very first time. The next person, Jacob. We all remember the story. We, know, we, don't, we are not children. We are not going to go into detail between Jacob and Esau. Amen? When he ran, 
you know how we run away from adversity problems and stuff like that at that time when we are running every hectare skater what happens we are, we are powerless we know we need every help then you succumb yourself you render yourself completely down 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 you take everything what happened in this case jacob was running away and when he got to better what happened he met god again and he raised another one he raised an altar but he moved on amen the place where money led to us god instructed him to do what again to go back you see the second personality the second person god instructed him to do what again to go back to his place and what did he do he listened he gathered all his family members everything every property that he acquired from that land and moved back to where to his place of help people of god what are we trying to say this morning the purpose of this sermon is for each and every one of us to begin to appreciate to celebrate our place of help because at every point in our life we will all need help nobody is an island we will all need what help celebrate the place of the place of your help amen so God commanded him to go back and Jacob went back. Quickly another person, Hannah, a woman of God. Hannah. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 20. Hannah went to Shiloh. Amen. And in verse 10, the Bible recalls that she was depressed. She was a woman very depressed. Her lips, her lips were not moving, but the man was saying a lot because she was what meditating. And Eli came. What happened? Eli asked her. Eli thought she was drunk. Before she left Shelo, before she left the temple, she left with a promise. Because God saw her what? Her heart. Shiloh was where she met God. That was a place of her what? Her help. And she went. Listen to these people of God. She went. When she conceived and she had the baby, she waited and went the baby. When the baby matured a little bit, she came back to where? To Shiloh. Her promise was she will give the baby unto who? The Most High God. And in fulfillment of that, she went back to what? To Shiloh. When she went back there, in fulfillment of that promise, what followed? God increased her. Uh, she God increased her. She later had three what? Sons and two. The, hallelujah when you maintain your place of help there's no shortcut when you maintain your place of help things will begin to happen for you you will experience increase you will experience abundance amen this morning are you going to begin to celebrate your place of help are you going to begin to celebrate your help your place of help Our mother Hannah did not say, I've received my miracle. I can I don't have anything to do with Shiloh again. She did not say that. She went back to where? To share, to celebrate. Even at a point when Eli could not see. At that point, Eli had lost the vision. She, Eli could not see at all. She went and she introduced herself to the man of God. Even when the, the man was so old, she could not see any. Said, "Sir, I'm your humble servant that you that you prayed for, looking for the blessing of the Lord. I have come to pay my homage. I have come to pay my ah, people of God. When you celebrate, when you celebrate your place of help, God will begin to open for you, people of God. This morning." 
morning, my message to you is if you do not grab much, remember to always celebrate your word in place of help. Amen. Hallelujah. Celebrate your place of help. We have talked about who? We've talked about Jacob. We talked about Abraham. We take up talked about the last person. Before I quickly hand up. Paul. Saul, whose life was changed to rule. He began persecuting the Christians. Going about, he actually went to the high place to get the license to kill. <laughs> to do what? To get the license to kill. And when you legally get the license, when you legally have the license to kill, what happened? The sky is your limit. You can do anything. Then you become an instrument of the devil. You can do anything because you already have the license to Oluwadami. Hallelujah. When you have the license to kill, you can legally destroy anybody just to get them out of the way. Celebrate your place of help, people of God. In all you do, do not forget your source of joy. Because most of us, where we are right now, is a reaction towards our place of help. It's an action against our place of help. So why don't we learn to celebrate our place of help? Hallelujah. In a nutshell, people of God, in a nutshell, he kept on persecuting, kept on killing, kept on killing. And on his way to Damascus, that was where he met our most high God. His place of what? His place of help. You know, when God, when God wants to deal with someone, he will deal with in with every strength because he's a patient God. But when it when he starts striking, at that point, he was blinded. Almighty God came with all his mighty power. And when that blindness struck him, that's when he knew the power of the most high God. He, from Saul, he became what? Paul. On the way to Damascus. And other instructions followed before he could receive what? When we leave our place of help, when we leave our place of help, we put, we, we, we put ourselves in a dangerous situation we expose ourselves, our family to invaders, spiritual invaders. Spiritual what? Invaders. We put ourselves, I mean, we become praise to spiritual what? Invaders. We become helpless because we have left our place of what? Place of help. People of God, I admonish you today that you should continue to celebrate your place of help. Now I'm going to talk about the last thing before I conclude, which is Calvary. This applies to each and every one of us as Christians. Calvary is our what? Our place of help. In Matthew, I believe 27 verse 20, that is when God said, it is what? Where we received our redemption. That's our place of help. And every time we take Holy Communion, Christ tries to bring us back to, to Christ tries to make us to revisit that place of help. That's the essence of taking what? Holy Communion. Our place of help. Where we receive help, where we re receive redemption. Amen. It is a place where we receive our grace. And I'm asking each and every one of us, how do we deal with it? How do we remember? Do we remember it for good in our relationship with others, in our Christian life? How do we handle our place of help, which is Calvary? 
without Calvary, we will not be saved. You agree? Without what? Calvary, we will not be saved. We will not become sons and daughters of the Most High God. So now that we recognize that, how do we do it? How do we appreciate what the Lord has given unto us? Which is redemption, which is salvation. Amen? I've had so many stories in this country. For example, some people will come to this country and some people will put them in their home. They will host them, they will, they will stay with them and stuff like that. And before they leave, they'll mess up, they'll do everything. I'll say, if I should leave this place today, oh, <laughs> if I should move out of this house today, oh, mm, then we wonder why things do not go right. That's our place of help. When people host you in their house, that's our place of help. Our place of help in this regard as Christian is what? Calvary. Where God Almighty has, where God redeemed you and who? And I. How do we do it? We must celebrate it. We must begin to appreciate the goodness of God in every way possible. Recognizing the fact that the Lord died for us. In our ways, in our relationship, in our homes, in, in our Christian life. The beauty, beautify your place of help. Everywhere you go, let people know that your place of help is Christ Apostolic Church. Agbala what? Agbala Tura, where everyone is comforted, where there is love, where there is joy. Amen? In what? In thought, in speech, in comments. Appreciate, beautify your place of help. And when you do that, things begin to turn around onto God's glory. You begin to experience love. You begin to experience, experience abundance. You begin to experience promotion. Why don't we go out there and spread the news that this church, Calvary, is our what? Place of help. When you do that, you're promoting the work of God. The power to beautify our place of God, our place of help, the power, the energy to recognize our place of help so that we remain there permanently to receive more blessings the Lord will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Can we all stand up?